Today on Toy Shiz, here's your chance. Do your dance. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, because I'm sure you all been waiting for this one, <laughs> we're taking a look at the brand new Moose Toys. This is their Space Jam 2, a new legacy action figure line. We're just going to take a look at one. I was walking out of my uh, local Walmart, and lo and behold, this was sitting right at the checkout, the, like batteries and stuff. It was sitting there right on top, and I was like, let's do this. <laughs> Come on, have some fun. Anyways, Space Jam, a new legacy the Moose logo right there in the top left corner, and then you have on the right-hand side, this is a little bit odd. You had a picture of LeBron, and then you got Bugs Bunny, who's in like more like thick line artwork, and then you have Lola. It's different. It's different art in a sense, unless she's drawn that way without the thick, heavy black lines, but I, it just, it's weird. I don't know. Anyways, LeBron James and a character called Kronos, and they're on-court rivals, just FYI. I know nothing about this movie. I have seen the trailer. If you haven't seen the first, for those that say like, oh, this is, uh, have you seen the first Space Jam? It makes no, no sense. No sense. It's creepy, crazy, weird as heck. Welcome to the Jam basketball champion, LeBron James. Goes on an epic adventure with Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes in the animated live action event, Space Jam, A New Legacy. And it is cool on the backside. Now, this was the only one that I saw, but, you know, you get LeBron with a couple other of the Monstars, right? Now they're called the Goon Squad. And you have some of the Looney Tunes, Tasmanian Devil, Lola Bunny, and then I, more like standalone, not two packs, which, again... I kind of what the Marvin the Martian you know what I mean you get Bugs Bunny and LeBron with like a hammer and a Acme rocket pack which is actually kind of cool that I miss going to movies and I miss movie tie-ins and I miss doing all this kind of stuff so I'm having some fun with it so here's the barcode if you want to check these out these are slated to hit now so they're hitting stores now and you should be able to see them probably by the end of the month I would say so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new LeBron James Chronos 2 pack from Space Jam 2 A New Legacy by Moose Toys and here's LeBron and Chronos out of the packaging and I'll be quite honest with you if you had any interest in these I think you'll have some fun with them if you have a kiddo that you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna get my value, this is gonna be like a two second wonder. They're actually pretty darn good toys. You could do basketball stuff with LeBron, and then you have an enemy to fight, and then you have a Gatorade water cooler. So it's a win-win situation. These are cool. And there's a lot of articulation on these, more than you probably expect. But let's go over just what you get. Now the box did say it comes with three accessories. You only get two, but you get this really cool, it's like a metal basketball or a space basketball. Got a whole peg hole on the bottom of it, which allows you to put this in either character's hand for basketball things, which is fantastic that they thought of that. Gatorade cooler. This is cool. If you got this set for this alone, this would be nice. I do wish that, you know, it's painted nice all day, but I wish you could take in the top off. Uh, you know, you could have stored the basketball or something or actually put Gator. I don't know. But yeah, that would have been a nice little touch, but it is painted nicely. It's just solid plastic with the painted top. Kronos, let's talk about him, right? So, oh, and if you're interested, yeah, NECA toy stands will work on these guys. Painted really nicely. The eyes on him, he looks like he kind of does in the trailer, you know, kind of like the goof, you know, when the granny is going up against him when she's kicking it old school on him. Nice sculpt overall. They are very simplistically painted, a lot of just molded plastic. Here you have like a chrono style, kind of looks like a video game life meter right there. So I don't know exactly what that's for. He's got a peg hole on the back. And again, the sculpt goes all the way around. The paint goes all the way around as applicable. Goon squad right there. Rotation in the head. It's a little bit stuck, just kind of moving around. But he actually can look up, which is kind of nice. Not so much down, really pronounced chin. But yeah, you get some rotation, nice rotation in the neck. In the shoulders, you'll see that it'll go up and down. It's like on a ball, but they'll kind of hit right there at the top because of his big shoulder pads. He spins at the elbow, single jointed elbow. And I do wish, I'll show you on LeBron, I do wish his wrist spun. It You, you do get the elbow, but yeah, I wish that was a thing. 
and no articulation at the knees, but you can get him to do splits, nothing at the feet. But again, a lot, heck of a lot more articulation than I was really thinking and movement out of these more basic style five inch type figures. And again, like I said, with the peg on his hand and then you have the basketball, you can fit it in there. And I really like that just as like a displayability option. Plus, you know, if you got a flight stand or something like that, you can he's dunking or going up against LeBron or something. Whatever happens in the movie. We still got some months before, so we'll see what happens. Now let's talk about LeBron James. And again, NECA Toys <laughs> stands if you need them. I think the likeness is there. It's a very more simplistic cartoony likeness, but yeah, I would say that's LeBron James right there. And he does have some nice paint in the black beard and his little goatee slash mustache sort of style. He can look up, got some nice head rotation to and fro on him, so that's pretty cool. On the backside, like Kronos, he does have the peg hole. I'm assuming that they probably just used one mold for like LeBron and you could fit like the Acme Rocky pack on this guy. You know, you could swap out accessories if you get them all or something to that degree. He's got some nice ball jointed shoulders to him. He'll spin at the elbow and he has single jointed elbow and he will spin at the wrist on his basketball holding hand. So you can see the peg right there. You can put the basketball right in there. We got doing this live on camera. So there you go. And he holds it nicely. Both him and Kronos eggs right in. And you can do like he's palming the basketball. That's pretty cool. On the other side, no rotation at the wrist. So keep that in mind. Basketball hand, yeah. Nothing at the waist either. It's just sculpted, all one piece. He will kick out. He will swivel single jointed, and then that's it for articulation. Nothing at the feet. More simplistic paint. It's not a lot of painted details on the shoes. It's all one color, but the sculpt is there. And overall, I'm really impressed that they kind of ramped it up. This is a movie tie-in, but it doesn't seem to be like they chintzed out. You know what I mean? If you're wondering as far as height scale, they're smaller than Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins. They're a lot taller than the new Marvel 375s. They kind of fit in with the Kenner Batman. These are very Kenner-ish to me, to be quite honest with you. Borderline toy biz with the more advanced articulation that you would see on a five inch figure. And of course they'll fit in with the real Ghostbusters, Kenner and such, which because he's got a peg hole on his back, yeah, LeBron, he could be a Ghostbuster if you want. This actually fits in there and it fits well. I mean, you kind of get the little gappage on the back, but yeah, who cares? Anyways, these are fun toys. And I'm glad to say that they really aren't those type of movie tie-ins where you're like, okay, you know what I mean? Now, I haven't seen the other ones, but as far as this two-pack goes, if you wanted a LeBron James on your shelf, you want to have him holding a little basketball or some display or something like that, yeah pretty cool figure to have. And I really like that he comes with the Gatorade thing too. Kronos is a cool figure. It reminds me of Justice League Unlimited with the more pronounced, very angular look, especially in the face. Kind of static shock, if people remember that cartoon. Definitely check that out. But I would say I recommend these as far as good toys for kids. If you are going to the thing for yourself and your kiddo is like, I need some toys, I think you'll feel safe knowing that, yeah, you can get them this. I will take a look now that these are kind of cool, if I see other Looney Tunes figures, I'm interested in Marvin the Martian. So we'll we'll go from there and see how it goes. And I'm really happy that they put that little extra oomph in the design of the Goon Squad. You know, that they actually have villains. It's a two-pack sort of situation, hero and villain. I don't know how the movie's gonna go. I'm just gonna go in there with an open mind and go, oh yeah, okay, <laughs> looks like a giant. Warner Brothers advertisement rights, but I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Space Jam 2. It's a new legacy. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, when it comes to action figures, anything goes, and it's always good to keep an open mind and see what kind of gems that might be hidden amidst the toy aisle. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.